greens. Let's talk about greens today. So I'm answering this question, but I probably have 15, I don't want to exaggerate, probably 15 similar questions about greens in my DMs right now. So the two things that I get asked the most often about is editing for editing skin tones and editing greens. So today we're going to talk about greens. I, I did talk about skin tones in a reel, so try to go back and watch that. I give my three best tips for skin tones, but today we're doing greens. So what happens more often than not when a photographer or even editor is trying to adjust their greens and get the greens the way they like them? They mess with the white balance sliders and I call them white balance sliders because that's what they're used for most often, but they're also known as uh, temp sliders and tent sliders. So when you go to the basic panel on the right hand side, there are those sliders at the very top and they will play with the tent slider and the tent slider and go back and forth, back and forth to try to adjust the greens and get the greens the way they want them. But you shouldn't be using those sliders for your greens. So those, and the reason I call them the white balance sliders, even though that's not their name, <laughs> is because those are the two sliders that you are gonna wanna use most often to get your white balance. So use the temp and the tent slider and adjust those back and forth to get your skin tones just the way you want them. Make sure your whites are truly white. So look at skin, look at whites, things like that when you're messing with those two sliders and get your white balance just where you want it. Don't even worry about the greens yet. Once you have your white balance dialed in, then go down. So below, in that you're still in the basic panel on the right hand side, go down to the HSL section and then open up that menu and you're going to see that there are three subsections within the HSL panel and it's hue, saturation, and luminance. And so what you're going to do, believe it or not, you are going to mess with the yellow and the green sliders. So start in hue because you're going to want to get the hue of the green that you want first. So mess with that yellow and the green slider under hue to get your greens just the way you want them to look hue-wise, tone-wise. Then bump down to the saturation section and play with the yellow and the green slider to get the saturation of your greens just how you like them. And then go down finally to luminance and mess with the yellow and the green sliders to get your greens just how you like them under luminance. So luminance will uh, make it the greens brighter or darker. So hue changes the color of your greens and use the yellow and green sliders. Remember, saturation will make your greens richer or more dull, not drab, but it'll take out some of that green. And then luminance brightens your greens or makes them a little darker. So I hope that helps. That's where you're gonna really dial in the green that you're looking for. Don't try to do it with the temp and the tint sliders at the top of the basic panel. Use that to adjust your white balance and then go to the HSL panel to dial in your greens. I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, keep them coming. As long as I've got questions coming in, I'll keep popping on here and trying to answer them for you. Till next time, happy editing.